Hi there, I thought I'd give yet another little updated tour on my modded Minecraft 1.2.5 base. So, starting off in the entrance is, well, there's my computer, the bed, uh, Dawn Totem from Thomcraft, sorting chest for items, and then some miscellaneous junk that I don't really want to be a part of the logistics system, laser crafting table, jukebox, and a transmutation table. Just my dragon egg, my companion cube, and my portal radio. But here is a APRS chest where I store my bees, a equivalent exchange to relay and collector that I use just for recharging my client star. Actually, I should probably top it off real quick. And in here, this is my machines room. So I store some stuff. This is my power readings and the reactor control level of request pipe, logistics network, and my centrifuge to get honey. That's another request pipe, and then. Here, this is, these two rooms are my Thomcraft TA. This is my Thomcraft setup, another request pipe, this is my enchanting slash Thomcraft research. Actually, I can actually grab my final bit of research. Nice, throw it away, there for now. Head down to the machine room. This is where the magic happens. Full, all the automation stuff, so the reactor, outside the solar panels and then Geothermal generators powered by a collector and a uh, whatever the heck this is, what it's called. A uh, never mind, it generates lava cells that get pumped into these generators and that helps provide power. This is my ore automated uh, ore processing so things. So, ores come in, get put in here, get put into the macerator, turn into dust. Dust gets put into a redstone or a uh, electric induction furnace, pumped out and sorted into the network. This is my lasers, that, and then here this is where I store all my items and logistics pipes. Then this is my input chest to the network, so items. So from the bag, I can put items in here and they'll automatically get sorted, and then that chest up there also sorts. Now, let's go see where those items are coming from. So. This is Koi over here is Koi 2. It's a little outbuilding. And it's digging up the ground. It, there's some weirdness with the pack where sometimes the uh, actual drill part doesn't render. So items are pumped into here and sorted to the network. So let's go back up here. Let's change the portal down to blue because I like that blue. And let's head back through here. Then to the original koi, thanks to the boots of the meteor, I can get there really quick. These are some bees, and then those are the solar panels. And jump, jump, and here is koi two, digging out the ground. Working pretty good. Matter of fact, let's head down and grab some of the ore from the walls. That little mess. Thanks to the red matter pickaxe, this is really easy. Grab that. Grab the coal. Grab that, grab that. Nice and quick. Come on. There we go. There we go. And last but not least, that and that. Nope, nope, there's still more. Missed some over here. This really isn't super necessary. I have a ton of materials, but it makes me feel good, I guess. Alright, there we go. Let's head up here. Let's head out. Actually, let's portal back to the base. There we go. Let's head down into here. And I'll just dump them in here so you can watch them float through the network. And watch them get sorted. There we go. Boys get pulled in here. It's chest. And they get processed. And there's this stuff. And all sorted out. I have, yes, I have four cobblestones. I have a lot of cobblestone. I have, see here, 20,000 cobblestone. Anyways, I've done a lot of auto crafting with this too. So, he knows how to uh, make a ton of stuff. So that's what these, these are all my auto crafting this is for 
making refined iron, this is for making coal dust, this is for making carbon plates, over here, this is for pin dust, this is for copper dust, that's to make bronze, turns bronze dust into bronze, this is to turn, which is for the uh, mixed metal ingots to make the advanced alloys, this turns cobbles into sand, and this turns sand into glass, so I can make automatic glass, so for example, I can go up here and, uh, you know, request, uh, oh, I don't know, a uh, low voltage solar array, and watch them go, so, coal is going over there to get macerated, look at it go, it's going to take a minute for all the items to process, yeah, I don't know where it is in here, but you can see the items flowing in and getting turned. And all that's going on, I'll show you this. This is my uh, main power flower. This is generating red matter. So, actually, while we're here, let's go to Relay Mark 2. Let's upgrade this Relay Mark 2 to Relay Mark 3. So, let's request 7 Obsidian. Have to come. Oop, no. Grab my Philosopher's Stones and get a crafting table. Relay Mark 2, Relay Mark 3. Let's place it back in. Now, all my relays are at Mark 3. So wait for more red matter to upgrade to start upgrading these collectors to Mark 3. Some of them are Mark 3, some of them are Mark 2. A couple I think are Mark 1. But, yeah, anyways. Hey, the solar panel's done. Let's go place this outside. Oh, and then this is cool. This is a mob farm. So I found... Oop. Using the lasers mod. This lever shows the lasers. Oh. Anyways. These uh, spawners I found in dungeons and I used the portal guns, you know, gravity thing where you can pick the blocks up to uh, bring them here. Anyways, let's cover that up. But yeah, I don't. The uh, stuff is getting ground up and then dumped. Through a, a pneumatic tube into this collector uh, or relay to generate more EMC. Use a thumb like a soil real quick to repair Charm of Vigor. Alright. Out here. Thanks to the boots of the media, I can get to places real quick. Anyways, that was my modded Minecraft little base. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, see you next time.